Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slappy Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. You guys have been watching my brisket secret videos on the beef tallow, the original idea proposed by Jeremy Yoder of Mad Scientist Barbecue. In this episode number six, we're going to answer a question from my viewer, Chris Nisonian, who asked me, hey, will this tallow wrap method work on a lesser grade brisket? such as something you can buy from Walmart. So guess what, Chris? I have a Walmart brisket here. I'm going to cook it my regular way, half of it the regular way and half of it using the tallow paper wrap. We'll see how the results differ and share with you guys the conclusion of this test on a Walmart brisket using the tallow wrap method. you're wondering why I'm using a 12 and a half inch 27 ounce chef knife to trim a brisket I'm just taking the Dow Strong Devastator challenge so I'm gonna to try to live 30 days using this ginormous chef knife to do everything on my channel as well as cooking for my family at home to see if I can survive 30 days without killing myself using this Rambo chef knife it's just really heavy but it has a great feel and great balance. I've been enjoying this, using it in all my cooking videos that you've been watching on my channel. Super sharp and uh, it's actually quite easy to handle even though it looks a little bit big. So here's the middle of it. I'm going to cut in half so I get a little bit of point muscle and flat muscle. On this Walmart brisket, we'll do a test to see if the tallow method can improve your game on a lesser grade brisket. You've seen my videos in the past where I cook a Walmart brisket and for the life of me, I cannot cook a Walmart brisket, which is a lower grade, possibly select, uh, as well as I can cook a choice or a prime grade brisket. But we'll take one for the team, for Chris Smithsonian. Chris, this is for you. So I'm gonna do this test here. We're gonna season it up, throw it on a pit, wrap one with the tallow paper wrap that Jeremy Yoda proposed, and the second one, I'll just cook it the regular way. Let's do a comparison and see which one we like better. Let's put some of my uh, First Place USA beef rub on the brisket here. This, even though these are Walmart briskets, it always will benefit when you have a good product, like a championship style rub on it. So this uh, rub actually helped me win First Place USA in the Ranchers Reserve KCBS Team of the Year brisket champion. Aging out thousands of teams to first place. And uh, it's got a few special ingredients like shiitake mushroom, Worcestershire powder, citric acid, a whole bunch of other stuff to supercharge your flavors. A lot of people told me just try this instead of salt and pepper. They like this flavor. So if you like it, give it a try. A lot of you guys know that uh, part of the net proceeds from my barbecue, philanthropy, business, and everything goes to watch charity, including things like Operation Homefront, Save the Children, Operation Barbecue Relief, American Cancer Society, and others. So we all need to do our part to help the world. And some people do it through their work. I do it through the general support also my patrons on patreon.com slash Sue who support me on my channel and uh, we enjoy our time together in private sessions on Zoom. I teach them, I teach them custom classes behind the scenes, show them additional black belt tips and tricks that I don't have time to kind of cover sometimes on YouTube but we get into deep dives. We just did one recently, I think everybody liked it. I talked about how to select a pit. We actually spent about an hour and a half talking about how to select a pit. So if you like super nerdy, sciencey stuff like that, <laughs> go check out my patreon.com. And uh, on my YouTube episodes, I kind of gloss over just the basics and the high points. But uh, on my Patreon site, I really get into the nitty gritty weeds. So if you like the weed stuff, techno weenie stuff, and ask me questions and have me on your cell phone to be able to call when you have a prob problem, go check me on Patreon. All right, this is ready. Let's throw it in the pit now. Closing it. We ran our own tallow using the brisket fat and we put it in a pan and after about five hours, this is what you get. Lots of beef tallow. It took about five hours to get our briskets to get to the point where we can wrap where the crust has set. 
So I told you guys always, when you cook barbecue, especially brisket, cook without your watch, without your thermal pen, because if you look for the visual cues on the brisket, such as in the box set, without regard to time and temperature, you will be much better served. You can watch more consistent results. Don't believe me, you try it and you tell me. Let's get on about three and a half times the length. It's a Walmart brisket, one wrapped with a tallow paper wrap and one wrapped with regular butcher paper. Let's go ahead and uh, put it into a BTU place. You can put it back in your pit at 250, 275 until it becomes probe tender. Or you can save some money and put it in your oven. Because I always told you guys, BTU is BTU is BTU. Because once it's wrapped, it doesn't really care. You can't absorb any more smoke. <laughs> Just regular paper. So appearance-wise, I think about the same. It's nice smoke green here. All right, let's give it a taste test here. You gotta wait, beans. Okay, let me get a taste test first. All right, let's give it a taste test here. Let's try the one from the uh, paper. Look at that. It's pretty good. Full test here. Pretty, pretty tender. Pretty decent brisket. Walmart isn't always well known for highest quality brisket, but the one in the tallow paper wrap, very decent. Very good. Let me try the one that's the regular paper, no tallow. Let's see how it tastes back. Take a look at that. So it looks pretty good. Nice uh, smoke ring, super tender. Let's see how it tastes like. Ow, <laughs> burning myself. It's really, really hot. Let me give it a minute to cool down before I eat it. All right, the uh, one that is wrapped in paper without the tallow, also very good. Let me go back and have a second bite, see if I can firm up any conclusion to share with you. All right, I uh, have some findings to share with you. Even though this is a lower grade brisket you find in Walmart, probably select grade or below, did the tallow wrap help versus the regular butcher paper wrap without tallow? The answer is yes. The one that's wrapped with the tallow just has a little bit more tenderness and moisture. It's more pleasurable to eat the one that's wrapped in the tallow paper uh, versus the one that's non-tallow. So you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a beautiful color. And uh, I just think that it's just got a little bit more oiliness and moisture as compared to the one that's wrapped without the tallow paper. So you can see the result here. This one is the uh, tallow paper tallow on the paper and this one nothing on the paper so looks wise the same but taste wise it does make a difference the lesson we learned here is that um, if you have a lower grade brisket and you apply the tallow wrap you will get a improvement over the final result versus no tallow on the paper the big question you're gonna ask me now is that how much of a difference is it Harry you know I think that uh, it's very subtle but it's definitely better so if I had a great this one uh, that is wrapped in the tallow paper at 10, how far would the regular paper without the tallow be behind? I'm gonna say that if this was a 10, this would be a, maybe an eight and a half. So you will gain a little bit of a one and a half points out of 10 if you wrap with the tallow during the wrap phase on your paper. So that's kind of my overall conclusion. Not surprising, I, I think that there's some rationale behind the tallow paper you guys have seen me use, uh, I can't believe it's not butter, I use parquet and all my briskets. So once you get kind of the oil in the brisket, it does help to seal in the moisture, makes the brisket a little bit more kind of uh, oily or unctuous, uh, and it has a kind of moist, tender, springy kind of flavor. So that's my overall conclusion. So it's a pass. If you want to get a better result from your lower 
quality brisket or lower grade brisket, go ahead and apply the tallow hack and uh, you get a better result. So let's see what Mr. Beans says uh, in this brisket test. We'll feed him two pieces and see which one he thinks will be better. All right, I have two pieces for him. The one on the right is the tallow paper. The one on the left is the one without the tallow paper. <laughs> so he went for the one with the paper first. So go figure. So he went for the tallow paper second. So I guess he likes the one with regular paper first. There you go, Beans. If you guys have questions about this test, go ahead and ask me in the description below. Uh, again, one data point doesn't constitute a conclusive test, but why don't you guys try and see if you can get a better result using the beef tallow on your butcher paper when you're cooking a lesser quality brisket. Let me know what you guys think. So thanks for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, and share. Shout out to my Patreons for helping me keep the channel going so I can provide free content on YouTube, guys. If you guys want to check out some other content like Zoom classes, coaching one-on-one -on -one behind the scenes, please don't hesitate to check out patreon.com slash Sue. Thanks for stopping by.